The guy you're looking at right now is so environmentally friendly that he doesn't buy toilet paper. Meet Rob Greenfield. Hey, I'm Rob, and it's been over five years since I've bought toilet paper. Instead, I grow my own. This guy is just like you and me, except that he has no cars, no cell phone, no bank account, no credit cards, no bills. Every single thing he owns fits inside his backpack, and that's around 50 items only. And his food, for one year, came from the garden. What? This is like the Tarzan of modern times. I began my journey very much like the average American. I was very focused on material possessions, financial wealth, and in fact, I wanted to be a millionaire by the time I turned 30. He didn't care about the environment until he realized how his lifestyle was doing so much harm to Earth. I learned that the food that I was eating, the car that I was driving, the cheap junk that I was buying, and all the trash that I was creating were causing serious harm to the earth and to other species and to humanity. So I had to ask myself, is there another way of doing all these things? On the first week, he got rid of anything with unnatural ingredients like shower gel, shampoo, soap, toothpaste. He stopped using any one-time things like paper towels, plastic bags, tin foil. He closed his bank accounts, sold his car, and bought a bamboo bicycle to get around. And he started to grow his own food. For one year, he lived entirely on things that he grow and forage. No grocery stores, no restaurants, no exceptions. Just his garden in the middle of a big city like Orlando, Florida. Nature is incredibly abundant. By working with it, it's amazing how we can get just about everything we need right from nature. In his garden, you could find a dozen different things packed with nutrients. Potatoes and yams, peas, fruits and herbs. He even raised bees for honey to satisfy his sweet tooth. This was food that I could feel truly good about eating. It was all local, all natural, and all organic. And what he couldn't grow, he found in nature, like milk from coconuts, fish from lakes and rivers, salt from seawater. I ate the healthiest of my entire life. Nature was my garden, my supermarket, and my pharmacy. And of course, his house is also crazy. For 18 months, he lived in this tiny house built 99% from secondhand materials. In it, everything is sustainable and nothing is wasted. When he ate, he put food waste into a special device that turned the waste into gas for the stove. When he peed or pooped, his own waste was reused as fertilizer or watering for the plants. Rob was determined to make virtually zero garbage. So much so that he even grew his own toilet paper. This is called the blue spur flower. It has an amazing smell and it's ridiculously soft. His life is an embodiment of Gandhi's philosophy. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Giving all of this up actually fills me up. I'm making space in my life for the things that really matter to me and to make time to do the things that I really want to do. I feel much more complete than I ever did before. Do you believe it? He may be extreme, but his idea is simple. If you want to change the world, you should start with yourself. See you next week.